Hello guys, Axel once again, and this is going to be the final video for my pre-E3 2014 special, because next week is going to be E3 2014, the biggest event for all video game industry. So first I want to make an announcement, finally I'm done with my article, E3 2013, a year later. That article's up, it's on my website. Link's gonna be on the description box, so you can click there and read it. Hopefully, you enjoy it. And of course, next week, I said this right in my update that I will be doing something related to E3 2014, including Twitter. So, if you want to know more about what's going on, the updates, also the video for the update, links on the description box. So, what is this last video about? Well, my takeaway about pre-E3 2014, all the news was happening before E3, and what would I want to see <coughs> Excuse me, at E3 2014 between June 9th to June 13th? Well, one is, I want to see the conference to be good, including the Nintendo's digital event. I want to watch it and say, wow, this is awesome, it was worth watching it, because I'll be watching it at home. And like I said, I'm going to be watching at home and doing commentary on it for Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. I probably watch the Ubisoft and and EA because you can I can watch that on Spike TV, hopefully. So, but I want to see something that basically, wow! I want to get a PS4. I want to support Wii U, and I might consider getting an Xbox One because of this game. So that, that's the first thing I want to see. Second is new games introduce new IP. I know Sony does it most. Microsoft and Nintendo, hopefully they'll introduce new IP. And it's hopefully for Nintendo one new IP. Because it's been a long time before <coughs> when they made a new IP. I mean a really, really long time. And I know from what I heard, Miyamoto did say that they will introduce at least one new IP for the Wii U. That's actually meant for the Wii U, so I want to see that. And of course, just good news games, such as niche game coming to America, such as, I'm a fan of the Koi Musou games, so hopefully <laughs> they'll allow me to make me buy their game, because I know they're a niche game, but if they can, can convince me, like adding a dove language on those games, then I'm, I'm, I got no problem double dipping. I'll even double tip Warriors to Roshi 3 because the previous one they took away the dub <clears throat> and they were still trying to sell it for $60. Kind of BS, but whatever. Hopefully they go 180 on this. And new peripheral. New updates on the console. I mean, I know console is supposed to be gaming, but it's, it's a good idea to do variety. So hopefully that they're going to show some more variety besides games, but games mostly. And then, of course, I just got this email from Microsoft. Apparently, the update is up. The movie, the entertainment apps without a gold in them, without a paywall of gold. I think now it's up. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to try it out. But I, just, I got an email from it, from Microsoft. So maybe it's on Major Nelson. I didn't check yet. I'll check that later. <laughs> so, so it's been a blast doing this pre-E3 and... For something, how come you doing this more than your Mega Mix game showcase? I mean, I do apologize because, like I said, the Mega Mix game showcase takes longer to do than just this blog, B vlog, which is easy for me. And let's just say that in the month of May, there was just a lot of big news is happening from Nintendo's finan latest financial report, Microsoft doing a 180 with the Kinect, without the Kinect on the Xbox One. And interesting that Sony's quiet. I don't know what they're doing. But there was a leak about a new PlayStation bundle that comes with the PlayStation Vita Slim. So, hopefully that's true. Because now I have a good reason to buy a PS4 and a PlayStation Vita. Because I'm still waiting for a PlayStation Vita without the Borderlands 2 game. Just by itself. And I can just buy a game with it. I mean, I always say that I'm always packing a game. But, like I said, I'm not really a fan of first-person shooter. And... I don't really don't like Borderlands 2. I tried it for the PS3. Didn't really like it. Not my cup of tea. So, that's just my final thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed since May my pre-E3 2014 special. And starting June 8th, and or let's just say June 9th, 
because I might probably do a intro to E3 2014, not a pre one, but an actual intro before June 9th. I'll probably do something I don't know yet, but starting June 9th, <coughs> you will see me do a lot of things E3 2014 related, such as doing commentary on the conference, twittering the conference, and like I said, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll be and you feel like it's spammy, I'm just warning you. My afterthoughts, I'm going to be doing that. So it's going to be a lot of E3 video video related and probably less on the Mega Mix. I'll, I'll still do Mega Mix, maybe one or two, even in the week of E3. But mostly it's going to be me just talking about E3. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. And see you guys, well, in the internet world, E3 2014. Bye.